Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and uh, Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading, June 24th to a June 30th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump strictly, uh, straight away to the spread. Alright, so the first week which uh, represents Scorpio's topic uh, for the week, that will be uh, the first card that represents Scorpio's topic for the week, that will be the Nine of Swords, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Scorpio needs to overcome for the week, that will be the King of Cups. The third card here which represents uh, the positive aspect of Scorpio's week, that is going to be uh, the Hangman. And then the last one, guys, that we do have for us, because I'm Scorpio, for those who doesn't know me, uh, that will be the Guidance card, and uh, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. Alright, so once again, uh, Nine of Swords, it is the first one which stands for the topic, followed by the King of Cups, which stands for the challenges. Afterwards, it is the Hangman, standing for uh, the positive aspect. And then the last one, which stands for the guidance the Tower is offering to a Scorpio, that will be um, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, guys, so um, it seems that this week, for better or for worse, it's, uh, it's going to be not exactly that productive, if I have to classify that way. I mean, I hate to say it, you know because everybody wants to be, and as I'm Scorpio, I'm affected by it. But um, this is what I suspect is going to happen, looking at these cards, is that um, we do have some plans, okay? So I'll try to describe it that way. So we do have some plans, and we're going to do as best as we can those plans to become reality, okay? To, to be manifested. The thing is that... Uh, looking at these cards, that many of those uh, plans or many aspects of those plans are going to face sit back. And uh, this is not going to be a bad thing. Uh, I, this is just at least what the cards are showing here. But instead, uh, during that sit back that those plans are going to face, we are going to have a time to obtain a different perspective upon the things and find even better way to make those plans happening, you know, a way with more benefits at the end, a way with more rewards that we are going to uh, face. So the first card here that we do have is the Nine of uh, Swords, that is the topic, and uh, this card usually represents anxiety, it usually represents uh, fear of the circumstances of, or, you know, fear of uh, that uh, things ain't going to work the way we are expecting them to work or the way that we need them to work as well. Now, the thing with these cards is that <clears throat> we may not be um, completely aware how we need those things to work out. And that's why throughout this week, uh, 
our plans or certain aspects of our plans may face um, setbacks or delays, like I said, because um, it's kind of like the circumstances are arranging. Uh, so, you know, they can, they can take a shape in a certain form that is exactly the form we need those circumstances to take shape. I'm sorry, but I, I hope that I do make sense here. So with that, um, with that on, um, how can I place it? With that thing on the plat on the platter here, Nine of Swords uh, urges us for throughout the week try to try to figure out um, what is the really the, the 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 core of our of our situation. What is the root of those? issues that we are facing and i'm not talking about only the issues from that week but in general i mean why you are not feeling happy if you are not feeling happy or or why you are not successful if you are not successful into your career and to address those matters because leaving them you know unattended ain't going to improve the situation at all the accompanied card here that we have is going to be uh, the lover's card so the formation it is a active supporters and um well it's it's all about decisions for what it seems with the lovers appearing here so i would add to the nine of swords is that we are to suspect what we need to do you know in order to um stir our situations and to manifest our plans but maybe we are going to be reluctant to do it for one or another reason. Maybe what we want to do, it doesn't have anything to do with what we have to do. As a matter of fact, I think that this is going to be uh, the result. So we have to do something or, or this is going to be the, the case here. We have to do something, but we don't want to do it for one or another reason. We do have a complete lack of a synergy in between, uh, you know, those kind of two aspects of uh, the human nature here you may want to uh you know open a private business for example but you know that uh, right now it's not the good time to do it so you have to keep on working in the same annoying job that you're working right now so something like that and uh, like i said for better or worse that delay uh, of what you want to do is happening um, it's it's happening for um, for the greater good it's basically allowing the uh, the circumstances to align in a much more favorable fashion for you guys or for us that is uh, the next card is going to be uh, the challenges here and we do have the king of cups so challenging wise is about receiving help what I mean is that we do have a person who will want to, to lend you a helping hand. Now, uh, you are going to find yourself quite resistant taking on this uh, helping hand for one or another reason. For some of us, it's going to be the ego, you know, that you don't want to feel in depth uh, towards someone. For others, it's going to be because they don't want to take a help from that specific person. Let's say, you know, that you are trying to open in your private business and your ex is offering to help you. It's your ex. You hate him or you hate her, you know. And so this is the reason why you don't want to, you, you don't want their help. Now, the thing with this, uh, with this card here on a challenging position, it is that there is no need for us to turn off a, a helping hand. It could be that you are going through a emotional turmoil, you know, and now you're trying to figure out what to do. Let's say you had a, a breakup and you want to be back with this person, but right now you know that this is not the right thing to do. You know, you, you, you have to allow your um, wounds, emotional wounds to recuperate. And there is someone that wants to listen to that. There is someone that wants to help you, but just don't want to divulge, you know, what you're going through with anybody, not just with this person, but with anybody in general. So that could be as well a way how these cards could manifest themselves. The accompanied card here of the King of Cups is going to be the Knight of Wands. 
so the formation it is a, a passive enemies that we have and uh, the king is going to be very persistent here that person is going to be very persistent and uh, that could come a bit annoying to you also i don't know if that's the expression that i can use but that person is as well very dull in a sense of that their mind isn't opened at all i mean they do have one narrow system of beliefs and they go by with that system of beliefs which uh, could make them a bit ignorant you know for your um, uh, uh, for your problems and for your troubles and in generally for what you want to uh, achieve but uh, still you know their help is gonna is gonna come around very very handy even though if they are if they even even if they won't be able to contribute to a hundred percent towards your um toward your plights and in general you know toward your situations so just to summarize all that scorpio it does look like that this week is going to be a a week of re-evaluation like drawing down the line you know and figure out figuring out how it came to this either good or bad you know because you may be in a very good position and you need to draw the line and think of how it gets to this how you get into that point and uh, what you need to do from now on it's not about what you want to do guys it's about what you need to do once again so uh, the next card is going to be the positive aspect and that will be the hangman so positive wise the hangman is telling us a couple of things here scorpio first is that the circumstances right now like i said are arranging are arranging in a favor favorable fashion for our future endeavors therefore the reason that we may are facing setbacks right now it's a, a it's a, a positive reason in the long run okay giving you an example let's say that you start dating with someone and suddenly the communications and the dating stopped okay and you try to recover to uh, how can i play to restore that communication it just ain't happening so you just need to leave it be for now because the circumstances are arranging in your favor because you don't know maybe that guy or a girl is a psychopath and that's why the circumstances are arranging in such a way that you no longer are going to date with this person i'm just saying okay and the other thing about the hangman in a positive way is that we scorpio are going to um start adopting a very different perspective upon our things i cannot say that it's gonna be really a, a wake-up call but it's going to be like um figuring out or rather having the insight how we can maximize on our current means and our current blessings a eh, as well and also it could involve kind of like changing priorities as well you know changing priorities over relationship over career uh people that you are associating yourself with and etc etc but for some of us uh, it could be a huge thing you know kind of like obtaining different perspective over life itself like start becoming more healthier uh into our routine you know start making start going into the gym for example or uh obtaining new hobby that is gonna make us happy and etc uh, etc et i mean the hangman is a very profound card and uh, it could lead to a completely different lifestyle that we may uh that we may lead afterwards the accompanied card here is going to be the knights of cups and the formation it is a, a passive supporters that we have so uh the knights of cups to the hangman it adds that we are to start doing or kind of like we we scorpios are going to start following more and more the feelings of our hearts or rather like the dreams of uh, of our hearts and for that reason we are waiting it's very difficult to explain guys okay so uh <clears throat> I want to summarize until this very moment because uh, it's it's becoming a little very complex and I will try to um, divulge the information in a more uh, simple fashion. 
So the topic here in the week points uh, that we are going to feel an anxiety because we have to make a, a decision most likely or we have to do things that we, that we don't want to do but we have to do them and there are going to be someone who wants to help us but, they, uh, but that person ain't going to see our points of view however they're going to be very tenacious. So we are kind of like in a very mm, stagnant situation to say the least. But uh, what happens in a positive aspect is that throughout that time, we are going to start figuring out how we can achieve the dreams of our heart, how we can move toward the dreams of our heart, recognizing, you know, that the path is not going to be covered with roses and red, and red carpets. You know, it's, um, it's just sometimes we do, we, we need to do things that we despite. Sometimes we need to do things that we are feeling uncomfortable with in order to traverse, you know, further down the road toward that dream uh, of yours. So it's something like this. It's, it's that way how the, uh, how the reading is going to manifest uh, for ourselves. Scorpio, it's, it's a very difficult reading, man. I, I, didn't have, I, I can't remember recently to have a, such, a, uh, such a difficult one. But nonetheless, uh, Scorpio, it does look like that is going to have a, a positive outcome at the end. Here we do have the uh, Guidance card and that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. So Ace of Pentacles in generally, in the very grand scheme of things, it does point to a rare opportunity once to further their goal. Now this opportunity is going to emerge further into the future is not going to be for what it seems throughout this week june 24th to june 30th 2019 but what the ace of pentacles here really urges us is to try to maintain a a flowing positive or a positive flow into our uh, into our relationship relationships excuse me with friends colleagues you know lovers and etc etc family and as well if we can and we will be able to to try to maintain consistency as well into our business because the ace of pentacles points that through a consistency you know the thing is just going to grow i mean your friendships are going to go your um you are going to grow excuse me your um Romantic endeavors as well are going to grow, maybe not with person that you want to be with, you know, but with the person that you have to be with. So it's very important here to um, <clears throat> differentiate those two terms. Because um, recently I had that, uh, how can I describe it? Recently I had that um, question given to me. What can I do to be with that specific person, you know? Well, what if you are not meant to be with that specific person? I mean, how do you know that you are meant to be? I mean, yeah, maybe you went to a bunch of psychics. They told you that you are meant to be, but how you can say that they are psychics as well, you know? So you always need to have that, I would say, suspicious that uh, you maybe are not meant to be on that path you so much want to be in. And for that reason, you know, you are missing on the path that you have to be which is going to be for a your greater good. The accompanied card here is going to be the Ace of Cups. So we do have double aces and those double aces are a, a passive friends. And the Ace of Cups, it does uh, point that this week is going to be a, a week that is going to completely change our circumstances. Exactly what I said, the circumstances are shaping, they are forming in a way that is going to better fit us in a, a long run. Now, after this process is done of what these cards are pointing, <clears throat> our worries and uh, in generally that anxiety we have that we're not getting what we want is going to is, is going to simply vaporize is going to distinguish uh, to extinguish because uh, simply the new goal which is in front of us is uh, make the problems we had back in the days completely irrelevant and as well is going to be much more exciting uh, in comparison to what we wanted at the start of the week. So yeah, the, the way that I can say it more uh, clearly here is let's say that you do have, that you do wanna work a specific job, that thing isn't working out at all. Um, you can't find a good place into that job. So 
you kind of like settle into something different and that turns out to be something that you have to do all right and it um, uncovers much more opportunities for you than you have anticipated which makes it even better than the one that you initially wanted to do it's it's that way how the reading is going to manifest so yeah okay Scorpio so that was your weekly tarot reading uh, June 24th to June 30th 2019 it's a very complex one I hope guys that I haven't bored you and I hope that you could have followed me <clears throat> throughout that thing because it's uh, it's very like I said complex and uh, it may not speak to everybody, that's the thing as well. Um, I mean, if you do have a very settled life or if you don't have any goals whatsoever because you have achieved everything that you have ever wanted, then you, then you ain't gonna feel a thing about that, okay? You ain't gonna feel a thing about that anxiety that it is happening because you already have what you wanted. Okay, so yeah, um, <clears throat> that was the reading. Uh, I hope that we're going to see each other uh, around and until then, Bye.